And in Hartford, police have arrested a man who they say defaced the city's Black Lives Matter mural. Can you imagine? This man now faces multiple charges, and the community, though, is still looking forward to Juneteenth events this weekend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones joins us now live outside of Bushnell Park with the details. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, you guys. As you can see, the sun is up, so you can take a peek behind me. This is the Black Lives Matter mural that has been on Trinity Street since 2020. Now, what's so inspiring about this story is that when somebody tried to really throw a wrench in all of these plans to really just divide the community. The community stood up and said, that's not going to happen. We're going to come together instead. Now, officers say that surveillance cameras led to the arrest of 36-year-old Scott Franklin yesterday, who they say defaced the mural with a swastika and other hateful markings. Franklin has been charged with intimidation, breach of peace, and criminal mischief. Now, back out here live, artists gathered all around on Monday to cover the swastika with hearts and and then on Tuesday, the mayor was actually on hand to do an unveiling of this new mural. Reporting live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Marcy.